Just moments away from the first pitch of the third game of the 5A title series. The Oxford Chargers coming with a record of 32-6 and six on the year against the upstart team from Pearl River Central. They pulled the big upset in the first game of this series. In fact, rallying back from trailing by a pair of runs on two different occasions, winning that first game 8-4. to four. But then coming back in the second game of this series, it was Oxford just dominating uh, in that ball game from the start. There's varying opinions of what could happen tonight. Can PRC uh, complete the upset? Or does Oxford go ahead, flex their muscles again? That's why they play the game. Great scripture in the Bible. Finish the race. Finish the race. It's here. The end's right here. Right here. But finish in a way that no matter what happens up there, no matter what happens here, we're going to hold our heads high. And it's a base hit down the left field line, an RBI for Ben Bianco. It's two to nothing, Oxford. Pitch gets away, and we're tied here at Trustmark Park. Line towards short. Backhand on the edge of the cutout. Impossible throw can be made. As Roussel scores from third, Schlotman goes to third. The number has ballooned to four in this inning. The lead has been spread to three, and the Blue Devils have no signs of slowing down. Ground ball back up the middle of base hit. A chance for the Blue Devils to score another run. Izio rounds third. The throw cut off, and an insurance run for the Blue Devils of Pearl River Central. The bottom of the seventh inning, what could be the culmination of an incredible week, an error and back-to-back -back two out walks. Bases are loaded now. Blue Devils are a strike away. Chargers are a swing away from tying it. 2-2, Two -two. swing and a miss. And history made tonight here at Trustmark Park as the state championship trophy will be carried back to Carrier, Mississippi. Gentlemen, what you have is bigger than any silver or gold medal you will ever put around your neck. It's bigger than that thing. It's bigger than that glove over there. Had we won, I had the same exact message to you. The exact same message. We got two sets of brothers on this team. But all in reality, we got one big set. And don't ever forget each other. Because that means more than playing at this place. That means more than holding up any trophy. Don't ever forget it. A region 2 6 a matchup between the Chargers and the Tupelo Golden Wave. And first place on the line here tonight in the first of three games this season between the two rivals. Don't make it bigger than what it is. It's a division ball game against a really good division opponent. That means a lot to us, it means a lot to them. But that's all it is. You're not playing in game three of the state championship yet. You're not playing Madison Central or Tupelo or Northwest Rankin in, in North Hat. Play the game the right way and let it be what it is. They're sending their dynamic freshman to the mound today, left-hander Hunter Elliott. Uh, who's already a commitment to Ole Miss. And the pitch is lifted in the air at a shallow left field and it's going out to shortstop. He's got it on the edge of the grass for out number three. First pitch swing and he hits it down the first base line. Pass Melendez into the corner. He'll hit the bag at first. Puckett heading the second with a leadoff double. Here's the old one and it's grounded to the first base side. Bianco's got it, but nobody's covering. It's going to be an infield single and an RBI for Carey. Three in the books here from two below. It's the Golden Wave one, the Chargers nothing. You know, the, the Elliott kid was really good. Our kids kept coming back talking about how, how good he was on the mound. Um, but we knew if we could get in his pitch count and kind of get him off the mound, 
we had a chance. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch, and there's a line drive right center field. That's trouble. That's in the gap, and that's going to bounce all the way to the wall. Stanett's got an easy double as he tries to pick up the third base coach. He'll hold there. Line drive, one hopper, knocked down by the second baseman. He can't make the play, and the run will score. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swung on a ground ball, right side, it through for a base hit. Here comes Sam Bianco. He's being waved home. The throw is cut off, and the Chargers take the lead. delivery. Ground ball back at the middle. That's going to be knocked down by Puckett. He throws it away. Two runs will score. Terrell's going to head to second. Here's the throw and it's going to be not in time. And the Chargers lead 4-1. to one. Ground ball first. This should do it. Melendez gloves. Flips to Stanett. That's a winner. The Oxford Chargers rally to win one on the road tonight over the 12th ranked two below Golden Wave by the final score of four to one. Well, it's baseball time here in Oxford as the Chargers and the Golden Wave are ready to go. All right, what I had to say, probably ain't gonna, ain't gonna apply, because I can tell you, they were up tight the other night. They're the ones that's won this division five times in a row, okay? They never played us, though. That's right. It's yours. It's yours. Get yourself right. up. Go, in a good spot. Well, the three-two count here on Sanders and the pitch. Breaking ball. He struck him out looking. Outstanding pitch by Smith, and down go the Golden Wave in order. One-two pitch to Stovall. He checked his swing. He went around. The ball got away. Here's the throw to the plate. He's safe. As Bianco scores to give the Chargers a lead, 1-0. And there's a line shot left center field gap. That's going to score at least one. It will bounce up against the wall. Stanett's going to round first and go into second with a double. Um, I guess it was probably around the fourth or fifth inning. I was just in the dugout, just as everybody was kind of getting ready to hit. And I looked up and glanced at the scoreboard, and I saw that they didn't have any hits. And I was kind of like, Oh, this could be, this could get interesting. And we'll welcome you back here as we head to the top of the seventh inning. So I was just, I was just taking it pitch by pitch and kind of not worry about throwing no hitter just because I think, I don't know what the score was. I think it was like one run or two run ball game. So I was just trying to keep them off the bases as, as long as I could. If I gave up a hit, oh well, just to make sure that we ended up staying in it and win the game. Kicks and fires and a breaking ball. He struck him out. Nine strikeouts for Tyler Smith. Ground ball to second. Bianco gloves and throws to first for out number two. Two down now for the second baseman, Peyton Puckett. Now the 2 2 pitch. Strike three! A no hitter for Tyler Smith. Ten strikeouts. Really big win. That's an understatement. Okay, um, it puts you in the driver's seat. Puts you in the driver's seat. You got to win one out of two. And the senior not here against South Panola or over there the last Tuesday of the season to take the division away from. Okay, we still there's there's still work to be done. Okay, even when that's done, you know good and well our goal is not just to win the division. Okay, it's creeping up on us. You got two weeks left. Oh, I'm speechless right now. I don't know what to say. I, what to say. Hey, I couldn't do it without all these guys behind me. <laughs> We're in quite the pickle. The bus is high. And I will tell you this, if there's one guy that can fix it, it's Coach Goolsby. The rest of us don't know anything about buses. Not one thing. This is the engine, I presume. But <laughs> Coach Goolsby did something with this red valve, and he's Googling the problem, which is what we do in the first century when things break down. We we're stuck on the side of the road, so we're getting the freshmen to sing us some, uh, some nice tunes. Just a city boy! 
Born and raised in South Detroit. Sing it loud. Do you ever feel, feel so basic black, like you're through the wind, wanting to start again? Don't know much about history. Don't know much of biology. Don't know much about a science book. Don't know much about the French I took. But I do know that I love you. So supposedly, Corey is on his way to fix it. Thanks, Corey. We appreciate you. Um, and then maybe we'll get on our way to Tupelo in, in just a bit. It's playoff time. You got two left. If you're not playing your best baseball at this time of the year, we're going to be packing up and picking up stuff real soon. And nobody in this circle will say A sweep over these jokers will be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But they're not going to give it to you. Take it. As Oxford unable to score in the top of the first. On the mound, Parker Stanett, 3 and 2 with a 3.82 earned run average. And now, Tupelo's in business. You know, obviously, we didn't play well defensively at all. We booted the ball nine times. Um, we gave them seven of their nine of their nine runs were unearned. Um, it was just a bad night. Chargers again down to their final strike. There's a ground ball, shortstop. Eichert charges in on the grass, throws on the run in time, and that's the ball game as Tupelo defeats Oxford tonight by the final score of nine to four. Got to get back to the drawing table, try to get better as you go into the postseason here down the stretch.